Here with Antonio Parker, first year head coach, Jackson High coach, uh, first year, but I mean, honestly, you just got hired in June. So tell me about the whirlwind this has been. You're no stranger to the program. You've been in the program 18 seasons, so you got all sorts of experience with Jackson High. Mm -hmm. uh, but as the head man, you've only been here for a couple months. Can you talk about that experience? It's been one heck of an experience. You know, I, I it was thoroughly a whirlwind between uh, running the King Center and interviewing for the job. Really extensive process, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It made me who I am, and it kind of created this. It made me kind of realize what I want to do. Coaching at my alma mater means a bunch. Uh, graduated from Jackson High 2001, and to be the head coach of the program 20 years later is a dream come true. And you know a lot of the players just based on your experience and your coaching, but mm -hmm. you got a lot of experience coming back. you got to be really excited about it. It's your first year. You mm -hmm. come bring back a senior-laden group with a great senior class. Oh, I'm extremely excited about it. These guys, are the, these kids went through a bunch, man. A couple years ago, they went through COVID, and they didn't have – they had an abbreviated sophomore season. And finally, last year had – you know, we were on egg shows a little bit about last year's season with COVID, but they had a full season last year. And it would be great to see them have a full season on their hands and be able to win a conference title and go on and make the playoffs and win a couple games in the playoffs. When we talked about team mottos, you talked about whatever it takes. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that means to you in the Viking program? Whatever it takes is, is really a model that just it just takes whatever it takes to be, be a champion that day. And so if that means we got to do five more minutes on the practice field to get the play right, if that means we're doing some extra homework to get that extra A, if that means we're doing extra chore at home to be a better, to be a better student and be a better person first, those are the things we need to do first. So whatever it takes is whatever it takes that day to be the best person you need to be. We talked about the experience you bring back. Let's start with the offense. Your offense will bring back 10 returning starters from last season. Can you talk about your expectations for your offense this year and how it might be, look different uh, in years past? Well, the biggest thing is going to be experience. You know, being able to overcome when we get in those third and long situations and those situations that are they're all that easy. You know, so I think that that experience is going to help carry over into them being the best offense they can be. I think Gibson Drummond is going to do a great job leading the offense and getting the ball downfield between running and passing and running our triple option stuff we do. But I think overall our offense is going to do some explosive things and we're going to make some noise. Uh, as the previous defensive coordinator, I'm sure your fingerprints are going to be all over this defense. What should we expect with the team that brings back nine, I think, returning starters from last year? Uh, what should we expect from the Viking defense this year? One thing you're going to continue to see, because Will Durr is taking my place, he's our, he's our new defensive coordinator. One thing you're going to continue to see, if I had anything to say, is going to be our team is going to be flying all over the place, getting to the ball, getting 11 hats to the ball, pursuing the football every single play. And... Uh, we're going to do some good things on the defense side of the ball. We got, like you said, nine about nine sides coming back, and they're going to be they're going to be good. And we're going to get to the ball. and We're going to stop people. So this team has seen success. Last four seasons, you've made the playoffs, but haven't been able to get out of that hump of winning that Week One playoff game. I know that is a primary goal of this team this year. What does this team need to do over the next two weeks and the rest of the season to make the playoffs and get that first playoff win? Uh, we've had a thing where I've, since I've taken over, I've always talked about overcoming adversity. That's the, kind of the next hump in this program is being able to overcome adversity, being able to realize that when adversity comes, it's not as bad as it really seems. you got to just keep plugging away, putting one foot in front of the other, and just keep rolling and eventually get over the mountain. And when you get over the mountain, you realize you look back at the mountain and say, oh, the mountain was that bad in the first place. I just had to keep climbing. And so once we get over that hump of adversity, I think we're going to make some noise in the, in the state of Michigan. First year head coach Antonio Parker for the Vikings. They're going to start week one against Monroe, and then they're going to start uh, uh, go to Grand Ledge, and then they're no, right, uh, home. home against Grand Ledge, yes. and then they go into SEC play. Look for this team to compete for an SEC championship, make the playoffs, and get that playoff win. Coach, best of luck. Thank you. Appreciate it.